Hey guys, Randy here from our Cozy Garden and today I'm giving you a quick update on the bouquet fillers that we started about four weeks ago and as you can see they are growing well and they are very ready to get planted but before anything else if you are new to our channel we are edible and cut flower gardeners here in zone 3 Alberta Canada if you watch our other videos you'd know that we have a number of cut flowers that we are growing this year and along with those are bouquet fillers one challenge i have being an urban gardener is not having enough space to place these filler plants in our garden so i have to learn the growth habits of each filler plant so that i can place them properly and grow them successfully here in our urban garden first off we have ami mages and these Amis right here are growing too fast for their 72 cell plug trays, so they need to be transplanted quick. Ami mages, um, I am placing them in front of our peonies right there in our back garden. And I know these grow really tall, so I have to place them in such a way that they won't cover shorter plants. Next is white marigold. Now this one, I know they're just overgrown. It's also overgrowing and it's so ready to get planted. Uh, white marigold will be a filler plant and I haven't decided whether I'm planting it in the peony patch as well or perhaps somewhere in here where it's accessible. And we also have fever feet. Next is hair tail grass, which are starting to look unhappy in their uh, small containers. Let's check the root 
and I'm suspecting it is starting to get root bound okay it is starting it's not that bad but I have to start planting them as well so the hair stale grass I'll see if I can plant them outside and if the jackrabbits would eat them and um, if that's the case then we will be finding a space for them here perhaps in our side garden so those will be very beautiful fillers as well for our bouquets Next is Bells of Ireland. Now I have in here about 15 seedlings and the seeds that I bought they did not have the best germination rate but at least I still have some to try for our cut flower garden. These ones I know they are non-toxic so they are perfect for planting in here inside our garden and I will be finding a spot for them somewhere perhaps with partial shade or partial sun. is our basil and these ones are lettuce leaf basil and if you've seen our previous uh, shorts we've been harvesting them for weeks now and they are perfect for pastas their taste is very mild and once they flower we can use those as fillers for our bouquets I'm planting our basil today here among our yastaberry and currant shrubs and I am wearing a N95 mask right now because it's been two days that we've had very smoky uh, air because of the Alberta wildfires but I really think I gotta do this as soon as possible so this is a full sun south facing wall
Next is Baby's Breath Covent Garden. So I have a number of them already in pots. These ones are mildly invasive. If you leave them to seed, they can seed all over. So we will make sure that we deadhead them and they will be staying in these pots for the rest of the season so that we can move them around and make sure they don't seed everywhere. Next is status. Now the status, I think I've oversown them. I have too many seedlings for the space that I have. So I have to try to see where I can plant them that they have less competition and we can still use them as our filler plants. So a few days ago, I planted six of the seedlings in our back alley and that is mainly to see whether the jackrabbits would munch on them. And so far, about a week in, we still have them okay. They haven't been munched on. And if that's the case, we'll be planting them in our back alley where they can grow with less competition. And the rest will be planted in the front where we are putting up two new garden beds. And lastly, we have the amaranth. In here, we have two varieties. We have the love lice bleeding and the green tails. Now, as mentioned, we will be making two new beds in the front of the house and I know amaranth is edible so if we are planting them in there we will make sure that we are protecting them from jackrabbits and other wildlife and that's it that's our bouquet filler plants update once again this is Randy from our cozy garden and until next video have a wonderful day